Douglas, and I'm a, you know, my profession is a mechanic, along with uh, drag racing. give you different theories about what another guy tried, but the thing is, uh, to have a better performing engine than the guy who's narrating something to you. Every week with me, it's a, it's a new idea with something that if it's just only changing the timing of the engine, uh, it works better. Once you've gone through the different uh, areas and figured out what it takes to make an engine perform to its peak performance, I find it no problem whatsoever when it comes to an everyday car. Well, today there's a, a little difference in mechanics in the time that I came along with my father. Like for instance, that he was a general mechanic and uh, I'm also a general mechanic, but today uh, each mechanic specializes in a specific thing. Myself, I cover the whole area of automotive repairing. Uh, I have to keep real versed on uh, what's going on in the automotive field. demand for mechanics today and uh, I feel that it's always going to be this way they're constantly building new cars and this the calls for uh, 81 mechanic my suggestion would be to any individual that would be going to school is to take advantage of all the course that he possibly can because the more uh, uh, widespread of knowledge you have of an automobile only means dollars to him in his pocket whenever he go apply for a job well, I think a person mostly uh, would have to be mechanically inclined to even uh, want to tolerate the grease and stuff that would be on his hand. When I go to my shop and I go to work, it's just like uh, a man coming home from work, start building a lamp or whatever he's going to do. It's just something I really like. And I think a person uh, you would make a good mechanic would be the same way. He would like it. It would become part of hobby to him. He's putting some together, and he's seen it performs well. consists of working at the satellite is uh, inspection of the aircraft. Make sure it's ready to go. Any maintenance has to be done that we can do within our allotted turnaround time. Being a mechanic, we've been trained to catch stuff to spot it before 
before anything dangerous happens to it. everybody's responsibility. Thank you. 